For a mountain biker, off-season means family, friends, good times, and lots of rest. But this time doesn't last for long. The brain feels the need to step into the ring again. New goals are set, and there is nothing better than building up your shape surrounded by your second family, the team. After many years, you got your routine in, in terms of traveling. It takes a while. It's a big part of the job to travel. A long flight, you sleep in the plane, and then you arrive, it's uh, 30 degrees, sun, good coffee, good wine. So, why not? <laughs> I enjoy to, to discover new places, to go somewhere else, because I think it's a proper experience, not only as a rider, but just as a human. You have to see you. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I look at my head and I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> yeah, definitely I'm happy when I see them again. Uh, Cannondale Factory Racing is my second family. I mean, the, the fella here was on fire. <laughs> the main goal of the camp is just to get back into the routine uh, as a cyclist. <laughs> you need to travel to train, I think, because uh, you just go in a different environment. It's kind of fresh air for your brain and also for your body. For me, it's really helpful to come in South Africa because uh, it's warm, the food is really good, the wine is really good, and uh, the vibe is really nice. We have also some massive trails here. You are fully focused on your job. I told Ian he needs to smile more in the kitchen because he's always so fucking angry in there. <laughs> because we have a, a really nice team around. They, they are just doing the, the best they can to deliver uh, good uh, training conditions. So for us, it's just about uh, pedaling and uh, sharing good time with, uh, with my mates. If you compare uh, Canada Factory Racing with a uh, family, uh, I would say that Daniel is the father, of course. Some people look good, other work. <laughs> <laughs> He's the team principal. I mean, he got the stress from uh, all the background. So uh, this is the, the one involved and to make the house safe. Dixie is a kind of a grand brother, you know, because you can tell about many things to, to him. He is the coach in, into the team. And there is Manny and Henry, two legends in the sport, but also my two teammates. <laughs> Manny is probably my little brother. <laughs> Even if it's the other way, <laughs> he's still uh, kind of a child uh, when he's on the bike and he still has this passion into it, like a kid passion. I think Henry is, uh, is maybe a bit more like me, I would say, taking things with passion and really wanted to do perfectly. The brain needs also at one point to chill if he wants to peak at another time. And it helps to create this nice atmosphere in the team because uh, on these camps we are way less stressed than normally in the season. Everybody is just en enjoying to be all together and it helps in uh, bad moments to lift everyone, you know, because we made the basics. I mean, this is the, the foundation of, of the house. <laughs> And this is one of the main goals of uh, winter camps, is to create this atmosphere. To see people sharing stuff, not only on the bike, but just talking about uh, their normal life. Then you create something different and helps really a lot. If you are close to all of these people, 
At one point, when you have to dig deep, you will do it because you believe in them. You just want to do your best for them. For me, it's the real start of the new season. With a new season, we have new goals, we have a lot of excitation behind. So on my side, after a long break, it uh, was a bit hard, to be honest, to, to come back on the bike uh, every day. Uh, because I felt uh, really untrained. So you start from far, but you have a lot of months in front of you to improve. It's an important and the last chance for all the Olympic qualification things going on. It's not the highest goal um, for a professional team, but I know it's usually the highest goal for a sport athlete. And that's why we put the support structure in place that helps everybody. And the reason why we're here is to figure out how we get to these goals or how we actually try to, to manage them. I'm quite confident we are going to reach most of them. We want to reach that goals, so we need to do better in all the areas where we already did well. There is no other way other than luck, but luck is nothing you can really trust on. What you get on the finish line is definitely what you prepared for months or years. And uh, it's a long work, it's a long way. So even in the winter when it's hard, when uh, you are far away from, from your goal, you need to think about it because this is what uh, drives everything. just for this, this goal, this main goal. So you have just to go through the process. And this process is long, this process is tough. It's not easy because sometimes you're a bit down, but uh, thinking about uh, the goal helps you to just to lift you and uh, to say, okay, I now follow the process. I, I believe in all the people around, and if I put everything in the right place at the right moment, there is no reason that I will not perform. But sometimes, hard news beyond your responsibility force you to adapt to situations you have never been prepared before. And that's a huge challenge for an athlete. <laughs> 